There it is. A lot of the 1.1 dot points overlap on the issue of polymerization. Knowing this dot point well means also understanding 1.1.4, 1.1.5, as well as parts of 1.1.7 and 1.1.9. We can pretty much guarantee we'll get a question on the polymerization of ethylene because it takes up so much of the course, so it's essential that we have it down. This question is probably the most expansive question possible on ethylene polymerization. It's question 19 from the 2009 HSC exam. It asks us to go right through the production process of a polymer product, all the way from a raw material. Note that the question specifically asks for physical as well as chemical processes. This is a high mark question, so you'll need to check all the keywords and give as comprehensive an answer as possible to get full marks. I'm going to answer the question by detailing the production process for a polyethylene bottle. We'll start by making a flowchart, then we'll fill in the chemical and physical processes around that flowchart with equations where relevant. If you hadn't memorized this and you were working it out, you'd have to go backwards. We're given the final product, which is a plastic bottle. We know that's made from polyethylene, but we need to choose between high density polyethylene and low density. In this case, both of those can be made into bottles. I'm going to choose high density here, but you'll need to know how both processes work for the HSC. The HDPE is made from ethylene, which is also known as ethene. Ethene can be produced from cracking longer chain hydrocarbons, and these can be found in petroleum. Petroleum is created by refining crude oil. So now we've got our basic flowchart completed backwards. Let's flip it around the right way, and then we need to fill in explanations next to each chemical and physical process. Each chemical process also gets a chemical equation. Crude oil is refined via fractional distillation, where heating and condensation is used to separate different hydrocarbons by the length of their chains. Petroleum can be catalytically cracked into ethene with the use of a zeolite catalyst. Now we need to write out a cracking equation with an ethene product. The ethene is polymerized to HDPE. We need to give a complete explanation of the HDPE production process, including some physical aspects which are not normally examined. High density polyethylene HDPE is manufactured when ethylene undergoes addition polymerization at 20 atmospheres of pressure, with a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and a Ziegler Natta catalyst that mediates the reaction. The ethylene is bubbled through a liquid alkane, and the Ziegler Natta catalyst is suspended as particles in this alkane. The ethylene polymerizes on the catalyst, forming pellets of HDPE. Finally, we need to explain how the HDPE is formed into a plastic bottle, which is by melting the pellets of HDPE and molding them into shape. With a 5, 6 or 7 point question, you need to think about how you can answer the question comprehensively in order to get all of the marks. Because you don't know exactly what they'll mark on, it's best to answer everything fully to cover every base.